Check, 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 YouTube. What's going on? It's Drew here, back at it with another little episode of Gumby Time. And today is gonna be probably one of my best like experiences, life experiences, and videos I've ever made in my entire life. I'm headed to Ireland today at 5 p.m. for a torso tattoo. And it's crazy, because like when you set goals, when you set something in the future that you look forward to, and it seems like it's so far away, it always gets here, because time passes, and now it's here. But just having that goal, like having that thing to look forward to, even if it's a fucking Amazon package next week, it just Having that thing to hold on to is so important. Now I gotta shave this chest and this stomach, to be honest with you, because this is like the hairiest part of my body, and you know, those of you who get tattoos, like you have to have a shaved canvas. So I think it's time that we uh, tame this beast a little bit. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. You know this razor is hating me right now. Motherfucker can't even take a breath. It's like I'm shedding my old self. I mean, this hair has been with me for years. Does this make it a little more entertaining? How's it looking? Damn. All right, Smooth Gunby has been activated. This is really weird. I got some battle scars because I'm so impatient. I just need to slow it down, be more mindful and in the moment while I'm doing these things. But I got to leave for the airport in one hour and I have like half my shit packed. So I will see you soon. All right, so I just got through security. I got my Panda Express because here's the thing. We got to nourish our bodies. But hold on, I might have to do a little mukbang. <laughs> At this point, I don't think anything has hit me yet. I'm the type of person where, like, I don't really plan for anything. I just kind of take things day by day. So by the grace of God and good friends and Julia Rain, the love of my life, I'm here. And I was walking through my house. I was like, all right, check. Got this, got this, got this. And I was like, wait a second. I'm forgetting the most important thing, me. I was so booked in and trying to pack everything that I forgot I'm the most important thing I got to bring. You know, I can't leave me at home. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm bringing me. And that right there, my friends, is how you do it. I literally spent so much time in that bathroom, I almost missed my flight. I got 10 minutes before we board and I'm 30 gates away. Okay, no, I'm just playing. I hate when YouTubers do that. They try to make it like it's a big ordeal. Bro, you did not almost miss your flight, okay? You stopped for an iced coffee and pranced the rest of your way to your gate. I'm tired of it. How was that for a little montage, huh? Yeah, you'd think Gumby didn't have it in him, didn't have the artistic taste, yeah. I wanted to do a scene during that where I just had my camera set up and I like fell to my knees and slid and started shredding on the guitar. I was initially just embarrassed to do something like that, but then it made me think like, man, these people are never gonna see you again. And like, that's something that holds so much of us back is like judgment from others. So even doing something like this is just so helpful and therapeutic for me because it forces me to be like, yeah, I am the main character and I can be goofy and silly and be myself without like worrying. And it feels really liberating, you know? Hi, thank you. Okay, so I just boarded the flight. We have three hours from Texas to Washington, and then I have another seven hours from Washington to Dublin. So I got about 10 hours of air ahead of me. Thankfully, I actually thought this through for once in my life, and I got a window seat, so I'm just thanking the heavens and my neck pillow, so I think I'll be all right. So the time is currently 10.58. We're actually deplaning right now because there's like some type of malfunction and they said that isn't good if we're flying over the Atlantic. So we're gonna have to switch planes, which is a pain in the ass. We're gonna be there a little bit later. But I met my boy Cody. Which what's is going what's going on, brother? This dude's headed to Europe, which is crazy because like we're sitting in these seats and like we're both just kind of traveling on our own and we get to talking and he's about to backpack Europe for a year and like this is his first time like about to leave US. I mean, well, you've been there before, but yeah, like yeah. to do the full yeah. like commitment for a year, yeah, I mean, that's a big deal. Dude, I'm gonna see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see. we'll see. Hell yeah. So let's get off this plane. Let's get it. Let's get it cozed up again and then let's get on the road, shall we? We're in the air.
Check, check, check. We just got out of customs. I'm currently waiting outside the baggage claim right now. The new homie Cody's out using the restroom. This is definitely the most exciting part for me right here. Hold on. Where will we journey off to next? The world may never know. Okay, thanks. You want to go up? Yeah. All right, so I just got off the bus. Check this out. I'm like two kilometers away from my hostel, so I'm about to get my steps in. But I couldn't help but stop and admire this after I saw it on the bus. And I don't know what it is about these cathedral roses, man. Something about them, and I just think they're so badass. That's why I got one tattooed on me. But yeah, like I said, I still got some steps before I get there, so I'm really gonna appreciate this. I was talking to someone on the bus, and they're like, yeah, like, because I told them, I was like, I don't really have a plan. Like, I didn't do a ton of research. I probably should have done a little bit more before I came. But they were like, you know what? That's the best way to, like, explore a new city, you know, is just to, like, dive in and figure it out. So yeah, we're gonna head over to my hostel, and then I think I'm gonna meet Dylan, my tattoo artist, because tomorrow we start the torso journey, and it's time to look over some designs. And Cody, the one I met on the plane earlier, we're tight as fuck now, he stopped at his hostel. So once I get to mine, I'm gonna contact him and see if we can go get some drinks, or maybe a little coffee, a little Irish coffee. I don't know. The world is ours, baby, okay? The world is ours. Something that's crazy is Ireland just lifted their mask mandate, like literally the day before I came. And so everyone's walking around maskless and it's crazy because something kind of special about like walking around in the public and like seeing other people's faces, like seeing their expressions, like there's just a certain level of humanity that we've been missing these past few years and it just kind of feels really refreshing, you know? All right, y'all, so this will be my bed for the next three days. Uh, I am in a hostel. I don't know if I told you that. I first got my hostel experience when I moved to LA when I dropped out of college and I lived at a hostel volunteering there. And so it's kind of cool being back in one. We got eight motherfuckers up in here. Can you imagine the smell? All right, so the cool ass dude at the reception desk, we were vibing. He recommended me this burrito bowl place. Ooh, hello. I mean, that's a serving. Look, I'm from Texas, okay? I'm a fan of big servings. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> Look at this, I found this in my backpack uh, after I got on the plane, it's Delta 8. If you watch my smoke videos, I like to get high on camera, uh, but this is legal. So I don't know about the laws in Ireland, but cheers. It's dead, it's not meant to be, that's okay. I don't gotta be high to enjoy life. Okay, Bojum, Mexican burrito bar. I see you. Look how cute this little road is. It has all this little green poking out of it. The little green growing from the ground. That was the first thing I noticed when we flew in. Green everywhere. I mean, just bright, vivid green. So you know that saying, ask and you shall receive. Remember how I was just thinking, oh, to be high in Ireland. I was about to hit my Delta 8 to get a little bit zooted. Then this magical earth wanderer comes and brings me this beautiful nug, the nug of truth. I didn't get to know much about him, but I know he goes by Red Eye Ronnie and he's cool as fuck. Now I just gotta go find a way to smoke it. Maybe we'll go get some papers or something. a wrap my friends I'll tell you you'll be surprised how many people look at you funny when you're taking selfies by yourself come on you never heard of a self-sufficient man I'll tell you what I've been getting my steps in today but check this out this is something pretty special I'll be honest there's a type of feeling you get when you're in this place I've noticed the general public is very kind a lot of excuse me's a lot of sorry's when they shouldn't be sorry like I damn near bumped into someone and they're like sorry I'm like I almost want to kiss their forehead and be like no don't be sorry we apologize too much for things that are not our fault look at this uh-huh i was foreshadowing earlier when i said i'm gonna get my steps in because damn man i've been exploring this city
This hostel is high key a vibe. Like I feel like if you had the right crowd here, everyone would be turning up. But it's cool because it's kind of chill right now. Everyone's just like laid back, just kind of doing their thing. I can fuck with that. Look at this, y'all. I wandered upon a little open courtyard here in the hostel. This is nice. This would be a perfect place to smoke, but they are they're already on top of that one. Skylights. City is my church. Y'all, some shit just almost hit the fan in my room. I'll tell you what. Uh, I went to lay my head on that pillow because I've been jet lagged. And I'm telling you, if I didn't like force myself to get back into reality right in that moment, I would have been out for days. I would have missed my whole tattoo. Probably would have missed my flight too. But sorry about the reduction in camera quality. I'm using my phone because I'm headed to Temple Bar right now to meet Cody, the dude that I met on the plane. We're gonna have some drinks, have some Guinness, and pretend like the world's okay. Look how cute these roads are. I had to change because it is chilly, chilly, chilly. Uh, I just can't find this bar. I'm calling Cody, but my connection is just ass out here, dude. So wish me the best. Man, this is so cute. Look how cute it is. Whatever <laughs> Top of the morning, my friends. I'm currently chopping my way down to Dillon. I got 10 minutes until we start tattooing, and so I'm trying to make my way. This is actually not one of those like created urgencies. This is like actually an urgency that I'm documenting. But as far as last night goes, it kind of got cut short by no one else's fault but my own. And it's crazy because me and Cody decided to meet up at the Temple Bar, which like unbeknownst to us is like one of the biggest tourist traps in Dublin. But we did it for the experience. It was really cool, live music, a lot of cool people in there. And it's just crazy to think because like when I got on that plane in Washington, I was just expecting to like get in my seat and then like maybe sleep or like listen to some music or whatever and then all of a sudden like me and Cody start talking and you know like a lot of interactions nowadays would be like oh hey man like because he said he liked my outfit and it's like oh thanks for the compliment and then I like put my headphones in and go to sleep and that's it you know that's the end of the interaction but for some reason there was something that like inspired us to like want to know more about each other and like it's just a beautiful thing about doing things that line up with your intuition. I mean, he's 24, I'm 24. You're probably like, damn dog, when are you gonna kiss this man? No, seriously, it was a good ass time and it's just like one of those moments where we're like sitting in this pub, talking to like all these amazing world travelers like with all different stories and stuff. I don't know, man, it was just really special. We had a lot of really good talks and I didn't pull the camera out much because I was just trying to have a present moment. I do, however, wish I had the camera out for some of these people we met, but that's a human experience that, like I said, I'm glad I had. So then like midnight rolls around and we're about to move to another bar and I'm about to meet my artist who's actually like out by the bar working on the stencil and then I get another drink in me and I just have this like mood switch I don't know what it is like this happens all the time you can ask my homies back at home like we'll be having a good time at the bar and then all of a sudden I'll just like switch and I'll just go home and like not tell anybody toxic trait for sure so I told Cody we're gonna run it back before I leave to make sure that we do it the right way but yeah you know life's crazy do what you can with what you got and like listen to yourself um, or just don't bail on your friends. I don't know. One thing I'm wishing I had right now is a skateboard, not only for time and transportation reasons, but like this city is so cool and explorative. Like one thing I love about skateboarding is the fact that you can like, it's creation, it's dancing, it's expressing yourself and using the world as your sandbox, you know? I wanna use this place as my sandbox, respectfully, but like, what? This is crazy. But one thing I observed going out last night was like, and just looking around everywhere, like the normalcy is starting to return in Ireland and it just felt so good. Like listening to live music, being around a bunch of people and seeing their faces and like being like, okay, like this is how life should be lived, you know? Yeah. I really appreciate it so much. You know, the
we tweaked a couple of sizes, but we think this is gonna be like the best one. I don't know if I introduced you yet. Sorry if I'm not like, yo, this is Dylan. I hey like guys. to like, I'd like to meet people and then like yeah. do this later, you know? And then we got these guys on the sides. Yeah. Sitting like oh. that. Ooh, shit, this is gonna be insane. All right, so Dylan's working on the stencil right now, so I slipped out because I need some food. I'm gonna go check out this green McDonald's. I'm gonna try to see if they have iced coffees, because if you know me, you know I go to McDonald's damn near every day to get these iced coffees. This is kind of tripping me out right now. It's vegan approved. Call this bad boy the McPlant. The real test is though how it tastes. Oh, not bad. Never mind the fact that I'm using a nail trimming scissors, but you know, it's all good. Is that really what those are? Yeah, I just found them here. Was my first choice. We're taking a quick little break because we just finished this side. It's kind of hard to tell the stencil right now, but y'all, come on now. I got no words. Me and Dylan been chatting it up the whole time. I want to get more footage where I'm like, you know, conversing with him and stuff, but I don't know. Like, I'm trying to hold both, you know? I kind of like just having those special moments to myself. It's feeling amazing. That's it. Feeling like living my truth. All right, so the stencil is done. Took about two hours, hour on both sides. Oh man, look at this thing. I mean, it's coming out fucking insane, right? Look at this crazy. Look at some of the detail. Taking a little break right now, and then we're gonna map out this bottom section. Loving it, y'all. Loving every moment. All right, so me and Dylan just finished the bottom half of the stencil. Man, so it took us three tries up top, and same with the bottom, just because, and I was telling him, and like, the stencil work in and of itself is an art. It's something, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And this is a result of all that stencil work. <laughs> Dude, looks like you just, I wanted to say finger Barney. Yeah, I was gonna say Smurf, but yeah. Like... <laughs> I like that one. I hope that makes the cut. Come on now. Dude. <laughs> Come on now. Torso is finished. Sorry I didn't get a ton of footage today, y'all, of the tattoo, but tomorrow is like really when you're gonna see. Today was just the outline and like we got it all settled out and it looks beautiful, but tomorrow's when the real progress is gonna start. Feeling good, dude. Feeling good, feeling blessed by this guy right here and uh, excited to see what we're about to do next. Come on with it. After all the stenciling was done for day one, me and Dylan decided to have a little bonding night out on the town. And so we started at the Hungry Mexican where we shared some brews and lots of laughs and conversations about family, friends, and what it means to be human. What happened after this was a night to be remembered. We went out to like this basement bar, alternative rock, punk, emo scene. There's a lot of people there with colored hair and a bunch of piercings and face tattoos. And it was beautiful. So here's the footage I got. Okay, it's good. Top of the morning.
morning, my friends. It's another beautiful day in Dublin, Ireland. I'm sitting here about to eat this McPlant right now. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this McPlant. I love it. Last night, me and Dylan went out in Dublin. We had the time of our lives. Yes, I did get drunk and end up leaving early. It's the Gumby charm, you know? I go out, make sure everyone's having the time of their lives, and then I vanish. Like, now you see me, now you don't. And then I went back to the hostel, and then I was reflecting with Dylan, and I was like, man. And I just started crying and I was like, this dude is like so awesome of a human being. Like we were just connecting so much. And then on top of that, his art is just so beautiful. And I went back through his Instagram and I literally started crying. I was like, this man is expressing himself in such a beautiful way. <laughs> it's just like, how can someone have such a beautiful form of expression as their job and be an awesome soul? It's crazy. And it's just the fact that like I left the nest on my own into this new country. Like it's a soulful experience. It's so hard to put into words. And now I understand why people make travel their life because it's the people you meet it's the experiences you have it's all just so surreal you know I want to know a pretty awesome realization when you realize everyone around you is living a life of their own and yeah you might see them for a second and be judged for the fact that I'm talking to a piece of plastic but at the end of the day man I'm having fun <laughs> So I'm about to pull up to the tattoo studio. It's day two, y'all. This is gonna be a trying day, okay? The outline was really the easy work. Today when we start filming it, I'm probably gonna be experiencing like one of the most painful moments of my entire life. And it's gonna test me, obviously physically, but emotionally and spiritually. And I'm gonna have to like really hold on, find the meaning in the pain, you know? Like that's all life is. It's, it's finding meaning in the pain. And so I'm really just gonna soak into that lesson today, you know? I mean, it's just crazy to think that like when it comes to body modification, pain is like obviously one of the biggest factors but like what I'm doing here is something that not many people do you get a full torso like this like blasted like this is a rare experience and it's powerful and sitting here being in another country and I just literally feel like this part of my soul being unlocked and it's a beautiful thing by the time you see this I've already experienced the pain for you so so it must be nice to be watching this you know what I'm saying watching it through the screen because I'm about to be ah. Holy shit, this shit is killing me, but come on now. All right, so Dylan's running to get a little coffee right now. We just got some layers in. It feels like every layer we go from the center out, it just gets more and more painful. So I'm trying to like pull in my inner willpower. Dylan was telling me all this big stuff around is about to be gnarly. And we're just getting in the blacks. I mean, there's grays in there too, but we just want to get that base of the blacks just so we can just have that structure, you know? But like, look at me. I'm fucking shaking, dude. This is absolutely crazy. I, I really forget how much tattoos hurt every time, but like, just having such a big, expansive area and feeling the pain, not just in one concentrated location, but like a vast location, man, that's different. But I'm hanging in there, and I appreciate you being here with me. Couldn't do it without you. Then your nipple is left there. Woo! That's it, Dylan. Come on, baby. <laughs> like that shit. Boom.
Dylan, what just happened, bro? Man, <laughs> I'm still not back yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not either. I'm, a, I'm in fucking Jumanji right yeah. now. Yeah, we're not on Earth right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. I'm glad you that like is it. amazing. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. I'm sorry I went ghost last night. I literally, after the tattoo, I just like shut down because my sleep has been anything but perfect this trip, including the jet lag. And like, seriously, it's crazy how important sleep is. I mean, seriously, look at these eyes right now. Okay, there's pain in them. Literally throughout the whole tattoo session, that was one of the things I was thinking of. I was like, all I know is pain. But it's all about developing a friendship with the pain. You gotta, you gotta start a dialogue with the pain to get to know it, you know, get familiar with it. Here's what it's looking like right now. It's all wrapped up. I'm gonna leave this wrap on for another 24 hours. It's basically like, if you don't know what Sanoderm is, it just kind of heals the tattoo for you. It protects it from oxygen entering. And so like you don't scab, it's actually a very great process. But as you can tell, there's a lot of like ink and plasma residue, some blood. But I'm about to do something really cool. I met someone on Instagram who's actually gonna go with me to these cliff walks and she's about to pick me up and then we can get a start to a pretty cool last day here in Ireland. It's time to go find my friend. This is crazy, dude. The, the power of social media, huh? What's poppin'? What's good? The power of social media, yeah, am I right? I know, it's crazy. How are <laughs> you? Right? I'm good, how are you? Good. Can I throw this back here? My yeah, backpack? you can just throw it. Just a girl, she expected the world, but it flew away from a reed. In a bag, I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. In a bag. So I'ma stick around with Russ and be a mentor. But a few rounds of mother. She ran away in a sleep and dreamed of para, para, paradise, para, para, paradise, para, para, paradise. Every time she closed her eyes. We are doing this right now. Look at this. Neither am I. I'm like in awe. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Considering that I was just going up to Dublin to Victoria's Secret, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to get my fucking sprays. I was like, I need to go get my sprays. <laughs> All right, so we made it pretty much to the top. I'm just having a little self-reflection moment right now because I'm so grateful I met her. Like, this is such an awesome experience. I wish I had more words to process it, but it's all just happening in my face. So I'm just like, awesome, awesome, awesome. But I need to be like, I don't know. I like to be more in touch with my words. So maybe once I get back and I'm like more sentimental, I'll be able to, but this is, I mean, come on. What? So I just want to say thank you for buying my ass pics because if it weren't for you that support my OnlyFans, I would not be here. So I hope you've been living through me this whole time because that's all I can hope for in this amazing moment right now.
Okay, Blonded, and just like that, our trip has come to an end. Over One more hug on camera. We've been hugging all night. Camera. If it's not on camera, it doesn't count. That's right. It never happened. Exactly. Drive safe. Right. Thank, Thank you so much for having no this problem. experience and being in the video with me. Ah, no. It's ah, amazing. No cameras, no cameras. Please, no paparazzi, no paparazzi. Bye, Bye Blonded. Little Bye. flower. Little flower. <laughs> Bye. What a cute name, Blonded, the little flower. Stop it. I mean, seriously, hey, we had such amazing conversation and like, I there's so many points where I like wanted to pull out my camera because like some impactful conversation, bro. Um, and she rolled me a J, which was fucking amazing. I'm probably gonna make a little smoke video out of that. Hopefully it's just really cold out here. So I'm gonna go see if I can set up somewhere and smoke, but what an amazing experience. The reason I haven't like pushed myself to get so much footage is because like these moments are special and vulnerable to me. And like, I don't wanna have to be sitting in the back of my mind like oh this would be good content this would be co good content like I want to be present I want to experience it for myself you know while also being able to find that balance to share with you too so let me know in the comments if I've been doing a good job he's a mustache, mustache. You're a fucking guy with a mustache he's fucking sick he is so fucking sick like I she's talking me up and, right now and, yeah it and, is amazing God bless and with the fucking mustache. <laughs> with the mustache. Fucking mustache. My friends, my family, thank you. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. It's not over yet. We still got like 12 hours of flying ahead of us. Fuck me. But once we get that over, I'm gonna land, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna rip off all this sanitarium. We'll see the final piece underneath it all. And then I'll give my final remarks. So we're not done yet, but we're getting there. And I appreciate you coming along on this journey. All right, so I just got home in Texas. I'm absolutely exhausted from that plane ride, but it's time to take the sanitarium off and see what's underneath. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.